my bad. First thing, let me let, let me let me say sorry. See, Streamyards, excuse me, Streamlabs has there, there's a thing when I put videos. I was looking for that city turning video that you see, and I fucking misplaced it. I don't know if I erased it or what I did. So I've been looking for it, right? I've been looking for it or whatever, and um, I couldn't find it. And so I was looking in, I got two other hard drives in the computer. What the fuck are y'all? Oh, I mean, what? Y'all still hearing noise? Like, okay, what's good? Hold on, give me. Okay, anyway, sorry. Anyways, like I was saying, I got two other hard drives and um, I found the video. So then I was like, cool, I can um, I can use that video uh, and, and play music. I had no fucking clue that that video was actually playing music because on my end, the video doesn't have any audio connected to it. It's, it's fucking weird, man. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> fuck you guys. Anyway, no, I love you guys. Anyways, like the stream, y'all. Uh, share this out. Um, some of you have not and everything and whatnot. So let's just get into it. I've already embarrassed myself enough. Let's just get into this shit so I can be done with talking about these two fucking idiots. Um, I, I, I'm gonna, I'm really just doing this video because I want to talk about, um, I want to make fun of Rev talking about he had a big dick in jail or some shit. It, oh shit. Well, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's Nova's fault. It's Nova's fault. Um, anyways. So our lovely LLT, um, she caught Shani in a lie. And you know how Shani is. Uh, whenever she gets caught in a lie, she uh, doesn't want to admit it. Uh, so it's pretty funny. And so she catches her straight in a lie saying that she doesn't take pain pills. It's about 30 minutes long. I'm going to speed it up because, of course, you know how you got to do Shani. You got to speed her up really fucking fast for her to sound normal. Anyways. Oh, yeah, I think there's music in this. Ella had to put music in this, but whatever. Let, let's just watch it. Fuck it. Yeah, there's music in it. I forgot. Ella's getting better with her. her and woohoo, because I love my wife. Woohoo, goddamn America. Okay. <laughs> Check. So that was yesterday, right? 24th, right? Right? Let me make sure I'm correct. Yes, yesterday. So. She screen recorded this yesterday, so check this shit out. Your choice. People deserve another. Ella time. said she would be in the chat, but she is at a birthday party with the chilling. Chance. There yeah, thank you. And y'all know I hate, I really hate Shani, but watch this. Now, Jason's back in the house, as you can hear. They tried to fake and act like he wasn't. Since he got out of jail, he's been at the fucking house. Now, you would think a man has beaten children. He would not be allowed in that house. I don't know if there's some any kind of restraining order or any of that type of shit. Some of y'all might know better than me. I'm just here to laugh at Rev. But apparently a man that has, says and has, oh no, they said, and he also said himself that he hit those children. It's back in the house with said children. I find that very strange. Um, so either he didn't hit those kids and that's not what he went to jail for or they're breaking the law right now. So I don't know what's going on. Weird. Anyways, here we go. You you give me tons of chances, and I I would lose otherwise, like a video game. I, and I, I'll 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 answer you. I don't like Shani. Doesn't make me laugh. Sometimes she makes me laugh. A lot of times she doesn't. And I don't get the same thrill out of it, watching her like some people do. Um, they, when they're funny, I can. Rev is always funny. Rev is usually funny, so I can laugh at him. But anyways, that is because. If I do not forgive others for their trespasses, God will not forgive me of my trespasses. That's, a, that's, that's it. That's truly a Christian living in all. Oh, shit. Peebo Thalu has donated five Australian dollars through Super Chat. I don't know what to say, Trisha. Chocolate Voice BGTV asterisk. I find your lack of mixed skills. Disturbing. Grin. <laughs> you are you trying to... I find your lack of faith disturbing. Um, no, it's it, it's this fucking system, dude. It's this fuck this glitchy ass. I might have to move on to just regular OBS because this it, this one's shit. Amazing. That's because you have to forgive your brother seventy times seventy. Yeah, but it, wow, wow. Let, let's let's keep watching. I, I'm on. I'm gonna be yeah. I'm sorry. 
Am I am I, I being too Jesus for you? Oh, am I being too Jesus for you? Do okay, let's see. CBS came to get the kids for yesterday. There were some people saying the kids didn't come back. Shani hasn't come back on since, so maybe they didn't come back. Well, well let's hope. Do I offend you by acting like Jesus? Uh -huh. huh, uncle? Huh, uncle? Uncle Root? Or do I offend you by doing what Jesus does? Does it make you feel bad? Because you can't be like me? Because you can't be forgiving and merciful? You have to be a hateful son of a bitch. Oh my god. Wow. Uncle Ruckus. How about Uncle Ruckus? <laughs> these kids. Stop being mean to me, Alex. Oh, Alex is mean wow. poopy head. How about you mind your own fucking business and stop telling a family how they should establish their fucking family? That's weird, isn't it? Rev is not a part of your family. You guys are not married. He has not adopted those children. I don't know what person. How many of y'all in the chat, if, um, you're, if, if someone you were dating kicked your child in the face and stomach would you have them back in the house you if that was me you'd be lucky not to be fucking dead if i found out that you kicked uh my kid in the face or stomach you'd be lucky to be breathing at that point so i don't know how many people would and i'm pretty sure nobody in the chat will agree and say that but i i don't know how many of y'all would allow that that's that's insane to me like you would be fucked you'd be, you'd find yourself fucked up if you did that to my child Shani, is that weird to you? Is that or should I start talking what you should do with your fucking family? Would you like <laughs> me to get in your personal fucking business like that? Yeah, exactly. Don't broadcast abuse and expect people not to be outraged. Exactly. Hmm. 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 Oh my God, she's so disgusting. I bet you wouldn't. Ugh. Bet you wouldn't. Bet you wouldn't want a motherfucker in your fucking personal business. Mm-hmm. And this is another thing I don't like uh, also about when people kind of pay attention to Shannon. It, it gets her, it gets, you know, she sees that people are watching her more and, uh, more often. And she starts, you know, she gets a big head about herself because she's getting attention again. Now, she was asking her audience to, to go and um, tell Facebook, not Facebook, my bad, uh, to tell YouTube to, that, that, that they sh she should be allowed back on the platform. So she got a big enough head that she thinks that she got enough pull with her audience to, to get her back on YouTube. So, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bet you wouldn't. Wait, wait, wait. Now the boy was kicked in the face in red. That's what, that's what, I, that's what I thought they said. The, the, uh, not what, Zachary was kicked in the face in red. Oh, I'm not. Uh, uh, you're saying on. ignore them. That's okay. I'm purposely not ignoring them. I'm giving them what they want. Yeah. I have a I'm making them. I'm making them money right now. You know, I'm giving. I, I'm blessing my enemies right now. I'm blessing them. Narcissist. I'm blessing my enemies by making them money. Uh -huh. Look at that. Give me money. Give me money now. Oh, is that Carrie? Is that Carrie? Carrie? Carrie, you've been the star of some of Shani's videos lately. Everybody say hi to Carrie. Carrie, Carrie, Carrie. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Okay, I'm sorry. I gotta speak. You up. drunken tub of lard. Wow, really? You drunk. Really? Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. Prove it. I'll take a piss test right fucking now. You already and, did this. And I guarantee you will find no ethanol in my piss. That's it. Yeah, I guarantee we'll find other drugs, though. None. Now, you will see a little trace elements of THC. What up, Huzzy? Great. How you doing? Trace elements of... of Hold up! Like the strain. THC. Because I take the Delta 8. Oh, so first but it was the But it's completely legal, and, okay. I don't know, and it's been legal since the 2018 Farming Act. So I don't know what your fucking problem is. You have a problem with people living their lives? Mm-mm. Does it bother you that people live their lives and make choices for themselves and you can't control them? Does it hurt you? I don't know. Does it hurt you that your son was kicked in the head and the stomach by the man that you're sitting next to, asshole? <laughs> there, goes, there goes Ella. Um, 
uh, let me let me post this link in for anybody that wants to watch it without my commentary. I'm gonna post Ella's link in the chat. Go go give her a like and a sub. Hold, give me one second. Let me find it. Don't worry, we're gonna get the Rev's little dick story very soon. My children aren't safe. They're with CPS right now, and they're not safe. Well, then CPS isn't safe then. Is CPS not safe? Because I thought they were going to therapy with the CPS and like getting mental and physical that, checkups. Right, yeah. Damn. Damn it, where is it? Damn, I didn't know getting a medical and and oh. and mental health checkup is abusive to kids. Yeah. Wow. Oh, right. Wow. That's, that's, that's wow. Wow. That's amazing. I hate her laugh. Newton is better than that Delta Eight, in my opinion. Oh, Where Kratom is, is better. I don't like Kratom. Kratom doesn't really work with me. But then again, I'm Irish. Yeah. So it would make sense why Kratom wouldn't work with me because Irish people, um, they kind of have a um. She's Irish like Negs. And they're both racist, which is funny. I'm not saying Irish people are racist, because I got some of them in my family too. But notice, they're kind of immune. Oh, <laughs> let me put Ella's. Um... Carrie has just tipped five dollars through super chat. There you go, G man. Oh wait, hi beautiful people, sparkling Aww. heart. Well, thank you. Thank you, Carrie. You just triggered one titty. I'm not going to pull it out yet, uh, but thank you. Thank you for, for your patronage. Let's continue. From the effects that opiate type products or opiate like products do or opiates per yeah. se. Mm. Um, they kind of have a um, sorry. They're kind of a look there is <laughs> nothing different. Than Irish people with opiates. <laughs> Ah, isn't that funny? So according to Shani, according to Shani, Irish people, uh, opiates don't work on Irish people as, as they do on others. Okay, on other people. Immune from the effects that opiate type products or opiate like products do or opiates per yeah. se. But then they keep it from everybody that needs it. That's yeah, bullshit. I forgot what the gene is called, but the Irish has a gene in them where morphine or opiates, mm -hmm. they, they don't work. You said that. That's so, funny, yeah. so like if you use that for pain, it's not going to work for pain of the um i actually researched this ridiculous thing um the opioid epidemic in ireland is alive and kicking however the norwegians uh have a issue with that it's a genetic defect the, i will include the, the article <gasps> buddy from the outside chat has donated two dollars through super chat thank i don't you, know buddy. what to say thank trisha you, i can't wait for her heart to pop like a zit you ain't no the only build cap. One. You 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 ain't the only one. I, when this woman passes from this mortal coil, uh, that those children will be better off for it. Hopefully, some relatives that are actually good and actually stable can take care of these kids. So, as you heard from Ella, apparently it's Nor Norwegians that have a genetic effect. I guess that affects um, their opioid uh, when it uh, affects opioid. Oh op ah, shit! I'm fucking about. They have a genetic, they have a genetic, I don't know, defect issue or whatever that can affect how opioids uh, work on them. Excuse me for all the stuttering, um, but, she, but it's Shani saying it's Irish people, so that's kind of crazy. So I checked, Shani was not Norwegian, and it happens to one in 40,000 people where morphine does not work on them. So shut up, idiot. <laughs> that the Irish people have. Like, I, I've, I've, I, like you know, I, I tell the doctors, don't put me on opiates. They don't work for me. I will feel the pain. Yeah. They don't work on you because you're a junkie. That's why they don't work on you. You have a high tolerance. Damn, I'm looking good in this blue. Damn. Damn. Okay. Okay. And this is a different shirt from yesterday. I have a lot large. I decided just to, I, I got good lighting now. Um, I just decided to wear different shirts. So for people who think I only got black shirts, no, I have, I have other color shirts. I'm looking good in this blue. Damn. Oh, okay. Can I see one titty? All right, Nova, there goes your, there goes your one titty and that's for Carrie too. Anyways, like the stream, y'all. Nova Ray has just tipped four dollars and ninety nine cents through super chat. There you go, G man. Oh wait, here is the same five dollars that seem to be circulating in this community. Okay. Your turn today, dress. Okay. Throwing kisses. Well, I've been late since you got uh, monetized. That's why you saw me throw you fifty last night. So yes, yes. Anybody else that's a com uh, or creator? Apparently, we give the same five dollars around to everyone so today's your turn to give me five dollars here we go i need something else you know what phil told me huh it's the opposite for ashkenazi jews now read it Can I see oh you on today? i already showed you my titties carrie Just give me one today. 
<laughs> like the stream, y'all. Like the stream. Carrie has just tipped $5 through Super Chat. There you go, G-Man. Oh, wait. I hope those boys pull a gypsy rose. For real. I agree, too. Oh, Gypsy Rose. I watched that show on Hulu. It was a great show. That's fucked up. And it's kind of, yeah, it might end up happening, at least to Rev. Thank you again, Carrie, for, for the five dollars. Now, look what Ella's writing. Then why were you saying you needed oh, really? two addicted to morphine and opiates? Yeah. Well, they grow in Afghanistan, so it's in that near area. Of pain pills. But with the Irish, I think personally the Irish has that watch, gene. Watch the shit. We watch were known shit. to be shamans. Yeah. So we took a lot of fucking products. And uh, Ella's exposing who she is here, that she's an, on the sock account. But look, Ella asks us this, this question. Watch Shannon get indignant like she normally does watch. Our system, so we got immune genetically through, you know, yeah, evolution to... No, it's desensitization. Yeah, it's not but it's a gene. Well, if it's a, a, a gene that caused it, it's... Here, you two dingbats, fucking idiots. I'll show you exactly what the truth study is, evolution morons. <laughs> See, genetic defect makes some nearly immune to morphine. When one patient received 60 times the normal dose of morphine and still didn't notice anything, the doctor called the scientist at um, NTNU. I don't, I don't know what that stands for. Let's see what. There you go. It's a Norwegian thing, in Norwegian University. Yeah, look, see. Um, I'm going to ask Ella to send me that link later. I'll post it. I don't know on Twitter if anybody's looking for it. The whole study on it. If y'all really want to read it, I'm not reading this whole article. Y'all can pause, or like I said, I'll get her to send me that link and I'll put it in. Or if somebody can find it, that's one of my minds. Go ahead and grab that, throw that in the in the chat if you want. Um, I've never had morphine. You know what's funny? They don't give me pain pills. You wonder why? Um, I don't get pain pills. I've literally tore my rotator cuff. Couldn't lift my arm. They gave me uh, ibuprofen for a torn rot rotator cuff. Oh, yeah, and that's right. She is fat as shit. So, yes, that is another thing. Um, yeah, so that, that, that would also make it hard for her. Uh, do, do. She would need larger doses to uh, feel anything. Yep. Thank you, Johnny. I don't want to butcher your last name, but thank you. I don't like that word. Evolution. Well, it's it's. Of course you don't. You're a fucking brain. Anyways. It's micro. It's thank, you micro for, thank you for the two dollars, Canadian. Um, so Ella said, I literally Google do Irish people, uh, do people of Irish descent have issues feeling the effects of opiates? <laughs> Guess what I got? Norway. It's accurate, yeah. yeah. Man, we could have good discussions on that. But just you know why? Because Norwegians come from Viking stock. They don't need no motherfucker. They don't need no pain pills. What? Got a voice and laugh like a man. That's right. That's right. That's right. I Damn, Alibus is quick. Alibus, there she goes. She posted the link. If you guys want to read that link, there you go. That's the link to the um, article that Ella had in her video. And that's no, that's not XX. That's Ella T. Can somebody drop Ella T's um, uh, channel in the chat for me, please? I got, I got to go and sound like that man, the man. You know what I mean? Mm. If you send me a Phillies hat, I'll wear it. I have no problem wearing other teams' hats. I'm just going to be honest. I, I like, I just, I like Yankees hats. I'm from New York. I like the Yankees. But if you send me a Phillies hat, can I get one this color? Or a darker blue, I'll wear it. Mm -hmm. I never said I needed tons of pain pills. Where'd you hear that from, Flossie? Are you another liar? Uh -oh. Are you another? Are you another liar? Are Here you another fib tailor, baby? You, you know what? Children lie. Does it does it feel good being a child? Do you want to act and sound like a child? Because I don't believe I've ever seen or You're right, Lilith Morningstar, you're right. Heard someone like me ever promote taking a bunch of fucking painkillers. Healthy dudes. No doubt. And not only that, I need buco pain meds. Like buco pain meds. Like you ugh. Ow, 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 ow. 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 Mm. It's like the arthritis in my knee and the arthritis in my hip 
are in and interacting with each other. And Ella got her ass dead to rights. I'm going to encourage Ella, who's a mother, to make more videos about Shani and Rev. Why you, why you got a buttered crumpet? Why are you saying I'm Welsh? What, why are you saying I'm Welsh? That's, what do you mean? I missed that context. Um, I, okay, if that's a good thing, yeah, why not? Literally, I can't move my leg like, like butterfly. I can't do that. It hurts so bad because it like pulls on my hip, which pulls on my thigh to my knee. <sighs> it's because you're, now, I'm not hating on anybody out there that has real genetic, uh, not genetic, real health problems that keep them from losing weight. Shannon, you're big as fuck. And other than your laziness, there's in, in in your massive calorie intake, there's no reason why you couldn't lose weight. You're bit you're that big because of you. Okay? That's why you need tons of pain meds. That's why you have to be high 24-7 so you don't feel the pain from your knees and hips. It's because you're big as fuck, man. You you you're you're slowly killing yourself. You're around my age, right? Look at me. I'm not saying I'm the pinnacle of health, but I'm damn sure more healthy than your fucking ass, Shani. Okay, I'm damn sure I'm more healthy than you. You know what I'm saying? And and shit, I don't even work out that much, which I'm going to start. I'm going to be remedying soon. I'm going to try to do, uh, as soon as Monday hits, I'm going to try to start working out more. I just like to do cardio anyways, because I'm not that fat. I ain't fat at all. I'm pretty lean. I'm a thin guy. Um, I just need to tighten up. You know what I'm trying to say? Oh. Uh. Oh no, it's not a blood clot. It definitely was done by walking and sitting. Like, I can't sit like other, like normally, like in a chair. I can't sit that way. My legs start to swell. But your spine is just is crying when you're sitting there in a chair. No, they do. No doubt. And not only that, I need Fuko pain meds. Like, yeah, what up, JL? Like, uh. like the stream, folks. We're gonna get to the Rev's, uh, Rev's uh, prison uh, story real soon. What the fuck are you talking about, girl? What the fuck are you talking about? Jenny, I saw you say it. I'm asking you a serious question. No, you're not. So, if anybody who likes to talk to this bitch, take this video. It's on LG. all you. Was it what's LT's channel? It's like Ella. T or petty T or some shit. Uh, she changed it, which you know you probably sh you shouldn't do often. It's Ella T Petty. Ella T Petty just took Ella space T space Petty. You'll find her channel. Somebody send that video to Shannon. Okay, dude. See what she'll say. Hey, no doubt. I think I bit my tongue. And bro. not only that, I need Buko pain meds. Buko. Buko pain meds. Like you. Ugh. Ow. No, you're fucking not. Bullshit detector. No, you're not. I was getting good at the editing. No, you're not. <laughs> Bet your kids can't wait to get away from such an embarrassing mother. Come on. God, I you agree. guys are vicious, man. What the hell is that? I, I got it, hon. Sorry. Yeah. Such viciousness in your statements. I'm sure. I'm going to say this. I'm sure I, there's I know Shani's family doesn't want anything to do with her, but if, um, if. That was like my nephew or something. I'm like, oh, word, word, your boyfriend. Oh, that happened. If I found that shit, even on the internet, I would call Shani. I'd be like, hey, can I come over and visit? I would. Oh, I, that lit. I'd bust his shit wide open. Susan, as as hmm. Or so, or I. Where's Rev? Oh, hey, what's up, man? Just yeah, I, I, I would fucking bust his shit wide open for hitting one of those kids. So, so happy to get away from a loving mother who cares about them and 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 been pretty much the sole person in their life while everyone else around them abandoned them. Yes, while you sitting I next really, to a man. I, you sitting next to a man that, that you both, all three, all, excuse me, all four of y'all admit that he, that has abused him. Manny Momo, Mrs. Mrs. Uh, Double Cheeked Up is here. How you doing, baby? Uh, tell Billy I said hi. I know he's lurking. He can't, he, he can't hide from me. He can't hide from my love. I'm really, really sure they're really like happy about leaving behind a mother who's done nothing but had their back. Now. Instead of putting him on the floor, you're gonna kill the cat. Oh my god. You're, oh my god, Gavin. Oh no, no. Oh, buddy, come on, bro. Just it. ready. No, no. He, no, honey, Gavin's okay. No, no, no. 
Gavin okay? Honey, you need to get back on the highway. Oh, oh shit, there goes Ella right there. Somebody drop Ella's link in the chat again, y'all. Ella's in the chizat. I'm playing Ella's video. Somebody give Ella some love. I wanted to check on him. Could you see Can him? we go park somewhere so we're not like in the middle of traffic? Can you fucking use your fucking head and get off the side of the goddamn road and go down and park somewhere smart? The fuck off. If he's Ooh. okay, I can get back on no problem. Ladies, how many, how many, uh, how many y'all would deal with a man telling you to shut the fuck up like that? How many? Raise your hand. I mean, uh, you know, really. Get the cat on your lap, you fucking idiot. <laughs> if he's on that floor again, you are getting your ass beat. Do you hear me? What? Is Shit. Jason William Egros. If you put that cat down again, you're gonna get your ass beat. Piece of shit. Now I couldn't be driving if somebody that's not. I mean, if even my if even if my wife did that to my daughter, I'd be like, the fuck. But she never. She doesn't even like when I curse. So uh, and I don't curse at my kid. Um, but if it was some girlfriend I was with that said that, I'd be like. I'll pull right over. We better not be on the highway. Because first stop I could, i pull it. Get out. What you mean? Get the fuck out of my car. You know what I'm saying? You, you, call, my, you call my kid a piece of shit? And say, you're going to beat you gonna, you gonna beat my kids up? Get the fuck out of my car before I beat your ass. Piece of shit. Get out of my car right now. And I'll leave your ass right there. Whoever you was, you would just be. I don't care where the fuck we were. I don't care where we were. If we were traveling across statewide or some shit, or we were just going down to the corner movie stuff, the movie or whatever, the video, GameStop, you getting out. You ain't getting in my car after you said that shit. Uh uh, get the fuck out. Stop this. No, I won't. You're not a mother. You don't say anything. You're not a mother. You don't say anything. I'm so fucking sick of it. I literally was saying something. I'm sick of it. I'm trying to pull over to see if the cat's alive, dude. Yeah, well, I don't want to be they killed. Care, and they care more about the cats than the kids. Traffic, because you're stupid. I'm not stupid, you fucking moron. That's what it's for, the side of the fucking highway. Yeah, right at an intersection. For emergencies! You do not. Do Shut that. your mouth. Sick and tired of Excuse me. And shut up. Shut your mouth. So what the side of the highway's for is an emergency. You're insane. You're an asshole. Wow. Go with your psychos. Okay, I You're like so that fight. Yeah, whatever. That kid will not listen to a word any of you say, including me. Will told him to put him on his lap a long time ago, and he wasn't doing it. Hello, sugar and hello, sugar and spice. How are you doing? What do you want, Channing? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'd like to say what's accurate, but I'll shut up. You're embarrassing why, because I do a funny face. Because cause I talk in a country accent just for the lulls. I'm so embarrassing. Are, do I embarrass you? Do I bother you, sweetheart? Are you triggered? That's the truth, Jason. Would Jason like to see his mom behave like Shanny? Excuse me. My mother? <laughs> All right, dude. Go away. You're fucking retarded. I'm not wasting any more energy on you. Go be bitter somewhere else. I'm just gonna listen to Roxette, okay? Go be bitter somewhere else. Jesus. Mm -mm -mm. I spit at people that take my mother's name in a way. That's why you do that. You know, I almost said it. I almost said it. Why are you fucking red fucking mother? She's better off dead. Fucking here. And I'm not around you and seeing what a failed man you've become. I don't care what the fuck I do in my own fucking life. Why do you care? Each thing has different values to it. Oh Nicotine God, vape. Nicotine. Delta 8 vape. Sister said now. Cigarette. Whoa. Cigarette. So, okay. All right. See, I don't smoke cigarettes. I don't smoke weed. So this bitch got a nicotine vape. She has a cigarette. And she has a Delta 8 vape. Bitch, you have to be on substances 24-7. I wouldn't be surprised if you got some kind of liquor or cough medicine or something around. Like, really? Why are you vaping if you also smoking? There's no point. Holy shit, I gotta watch it. I gotta go back. She has a cigarette, a vape, and a, let me hear what she said. I, I want to see if there's a nicotine vape. She's got six vapes and Delta 8 vapes. All right. My mother's name, in a way. Here we go. She got a cigarette and a disgusting milk. Every time y'all, every time y'all send me five dollars, y'all are sexually harassing me. I'm 
I'm gonna need apology videos from everybody. JL has just tipped $4.99 through Super Chat. There you go, G Man. Oh, wait. Who wants to sit for hours and hours with a cat on their lap? Let alone an autistic child. Yeah, um, that's why you you have carrying cases for cats. Dogs, I get. Dogs can dogs are sit, and I'm not saying some cats can't. Cats are a little bit more wild than dogs. I understand. Dogs will sit right next to you, and 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 nothing will, nothing will happen, right? They'll just be chilling with everybody. But cats, a little bit more wild. They got to be all over the place. That's why you have carrying cases for them. Oh, who's who's making Trisha Nightmare choke on the dick? Nightmare three has donated two dollars through super chat. Mm. I don't know what mm. to say, Trisha. I'll say it. Cancer is the best thing for Rev's mom. That's fucked up, but I have to agree. Why do you fucking care what the fuck I do in my own fucking life? Okay, here we go. Here we go. Thank you, Ella, for this. Thank you, Ella. See, y'all probably didn't even know Ella did this. Y'all didn't even know. Y'all didn't even know Ella was in the chat. What up, Madonna? How you doing? You didn't even know Ella was in the chat doing this. Ella is Petty Fam. She's a she's a covert member of Petty Fam, but she gave y'all this. Please sub to her channel. Like her video, please. Why do you care? Cigarette. Each thing has different values to it. Nicotine vape. Nicotine vape. Nicotine. Delta 8 vape. Delta 8 vape. Sister said now. Cigarette. 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 Cigarettes all serve a different fucking purpose. No, they don't. The cigarette and the nicotine vape have, have the same purpose. You're getting nicotine from both products. The Delta 8 vape is some kind of weed shit, I'm assuming. But you, you So you're smoking a cigarette for nicotine, and what is wrong with you? What is... You, you are stupid. How did... Uh, Okay. The purpose is You're just killing yourself faster. So guys, don't tell her nothing. Let her smoke. Let her smoke as many vapes as she wants. She's just killing herself quicker. Is I'm a PMS and fucking rage fest right now in a lot of fucking pain without my fucking mental meds. I'm yeah. kind of going fucking crazy in my mind. Shani, if you're if you're on mental meds, um, uh, psychiatric meds or whatever, you shouldn't be smoking any other. You shouldn't. I don't know. I don't think cigarettes fuck with it, but you shouldn't be smoking weed. I've I've heard it from time and time again from people who who are on um meds for their mental illnesses, and they keep telling me that they should they they shouldn't be uh smoking weed and things like that. <coughs> Panini, uh, take notes. It fucks with your meds. Can we turn off this goddamn light? Yeah, I don't know why. I'm sorry. I couldn't see. And can you turn that music or turn that down a little bit? Because it's really loud and I don't want to get like. Damn yeah. it. Yeah, thank you. Kind of need a long time. You say yado. All right. But did you do them at the same time, yado? Like, I get it if you're in the house and you're vaping, and then when you go outside, you smoke a cigarette. But are you smoking a cigarette and vaping and smoking weed all at the same time? Like, are you doing that? That's a little crazy to me. In the house? I get it. I get it. I know that I've had, I, I fucked around with some weed vape before. I'm back in, back in my time, you know? And yeah, you could do that in the house, but the, I don't get having all three at once. Like They're like children. Like, in a lot of ways, these people are like children. They ask really stupid fucking questions. Well, why? Oh, you, you know what's funny? Another thing she has in common. See, at the same time, fuck no. Another thing she has in common with Panini. She's a high school dropout too. I don't think she got her GED though. Know, she's a high school dropout too, and she's racist. You do that? Why do you do this? Why do you do that? Why do you do? Yeah, smoking up messes your heart and also being morbidly obese too. So you shouldn't do both. <laughs> what you do? And, 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 and the better question is, why do you give um, a fuck what other people you do? put your entire life online and you let your loser boyfriend beat up your son. So shut the fuck up and don't ask like, stupid shit, questions. Don't like you that. have a fucking life? If you had a fucking life, you wouldn't be concerned about mine. I guarantee fucking you. You're putting your life online for people to see, stupid bitch. So you shouldn't get mad when people have a, um, have opinions on your life. Once again, if you don't want people to express opinions about you, maybe you shouldn't be streaming. But you and your fucking flabby ass boyfriend are addicted to it, and it's a shame. Aw, thank you, Gojo. And if you had a life, you wouldn't let some yeah, loser beat up your son, your your blood, your child. Yeah. You wouldn't let anyone hurt your child if you had a life. So what? Yeah, exactly. What type of interaction do you want if not? Now I'm not saying it about all Christians, but I've heard a few Christians say things like. God comes first, then their spouse, then their children. And I, when I heard that, I was like, what? Mm -mm. First off, I'm not religious. I don't believe in God. So what comes first? My kid. 
than my wife. And my wife feels the same fucking way about that. My daughter, my kid, and then um, my daughter, whatever. My kid and then me. You know, like, then, then I come right after. And then, then, you know, there's other people that come up after that. But the kid comes first. No, no, no amount of pussy comes before my kid. None. People asking you questions. Damn. God damn, bro. Man, what? Man, look at that. You know, there's more to interaction and communication with people than asking questions, right? Especially stupid fucking questions that juveniles ask. I had no clue, mountain neighbor. Because they want to be smart asses. Next. <laughs> yeah, we got to get her back in mind. Back up. Ah, that's funny. What got you can do got him, Shani. is you go got on Twitter, that time. You span go, YouTube you support, yourself. and put in a petition to get me back on YouTube. Say, bring Shani back. Bring Shani back. <laughs> Cigarettes do have chemicals that. Be like, she was false flagged down. <laughs> Let's rewind that. See, it was in this video. I'm sorry, Elle. I didn't know this was in this video. Check that. Shani wants us, excuse me, she wants her audience, which are mostly people who hate her and trolls, to get her back on YouTube. Let's hear that again. I'm going to shut up. Yeah, we got to get her back in mind. Back up. What got you him. can do got him, Shani. is you go got on Twitter, time. You span go YouTube you support, yourself. and put in a petition to get me back on YouTube. Say, bring Shani back. Bring Shani back. And petition them for that. Be like, she was false flagged down. Lightworker Von Helton has donated $2 through Super Chat. I don't know what to say, Trisha. Hey, buddy. Haven't heard from you in a while. Hey, Von. Haven't heard from you from a while, for a while either, man. Where, where have you been? I know you haven't been on YouTube or any of your regular sites. I hope you're doing well. And I hope you're not kicked out of that trailer and shit for letting your mom die on the floor. And I know that's not the real Von, but that, that was really funny, actually. Thank you for the $2. Ah. <laughs> listen, Ella. Listen, listen. <laughs> Cutest laugh in the world. Any back, everyone? All twenty of you, go make a petition saying bring Shani back because she's got the content. Yeah. She'll even let her boyfriend beat her kid, and she'll broadcast it for you all if you let her back on YouTube, folks. I say do it. Yeah. Go for Shani. Come on, let's make a Shani back on YouTube petition. Yeah. Girl, stop it. YouTube hates you. Kicked you off four times. It's not happening over there on YouTube for you, sweetie pie. The craziest part is that she got monetized twice. But people, that group of people. Oh, money, money, money. It's all you can think about is money. You're not worth any money. You're not worth any money. You don't bring it in any views. Nobody wants to watch you and Rev sit in bed. No one cares. No one cares. Everyone thinks you're disgusting. Disgusting. Mm. Disgusting, exactly. The tons of money we could make from her. Is that how you envision it? Because I'm um, pretty sure after time number three, they were fairly certain that they did not want you back, Shani. I'm fairly certain YouTube made it clear. I don't think that they're thinking now that that was a mistake the third time they did it. <laughs> you are delusional. You truly are so delusional. This is so hysterical. I oh, celebrity juices in the chat. Yep, that's you in there gassing her ass up. Hilarious. Bravo. Bravo. I cannot. I literally can't believe you did this for three hours. Literally, it's insane. That's how most businesses work. You know, how many people I've seen fired in my lifetime because they didn't act right in their job and they were doing some stupid ass fucked up shit? Too many times. How many people has Shani seen fired? Like, can we take a, a, a poll on this? How many jobs has Shani had and how many times has she seen people fired? I'd really like to know because the, the I don't think there's any. I don't think she has ever worked. No, she, she's worked, Ella. She's actually worked. The only people Shani has seen fired is herself. Ever. Anywhere. And if she has, I don't think it was for very long. So I just threw this together today because I was, um, I saw her go live and I recorded it. I didn't watch it. And, um, cause I wasn't home. <laughs> and when I got home, um, it was still recording on my phone. And, um, I heard her say the thing about painkillers and I couldn't help it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That happened. Everyone knows you love painkillers. Um, there is no Irish gene issue that, uh, I could find any information on. Like I showed you, it is a uh, thing that happens to Norwegians. It happens in Norway, apparently, and it's one in 40,000 people that has to, uh, that requires a much stronger dose of opioids than normal people. That was the only study I could find. So I'm not sure what she, where she got that info, but it's a total lie. Um, Shani 100% takes pain meds quite often, smokes weed, smokes cigarettes, smokes vapes, and just let a man that kicked <laughs> and hit, hit her, her son, her son, her baby. Mm. 
her little baby in the head and in the stomach, and both children said, the second they heard that he was getting released, that they were that they didn't want him there, and they were crying. Yeah. And look where he is. Back in the house. Wow, shit. When I didn't think it was possible that you could get any lower of a human being, or I would even be here after working all day and being exhausted, even talking about your dumb ass, if you didn't make stupid, sloppy mistakes like this, because I can't stand talking about you. But um, I hope CPS finds those boys a very, very nice foster home where they never have to worry about being hit or kicked or ignored or neglected or abused or anything at all that he's dealing with either one of them are dealing with in your home under your, the same nothing. roof as you but you have nowhere else to go you can't do anything without a man you can't stand on your own two feet you can't be an independent woman you need rev how pathetic is that if you have not taken the biggest l of the anyone that i know i don't know anyone else that's a bigger loser at this point you will let you will stay with a man who will do that to your kid because you can't physically or mentally get a job and get off your ass and do what's right for them Channy, oh, I pause at the right time. Isolationist Agorist has donated $2 through Super Chat. I don't know what to say, Trisha. Boop. Boop. Thank you, Isolationist Agorist. Thank you, thank you, thank you for $2. Please, guys, like the stream. Let me see what my likes are. I'm, I'm doing this constantly. If I ain't at 100 likes, I'm going to keep saying it. So if you want me to stop asking you to like the stream, then go ahead and like the motherfucking stream. And please, sub to Ella. Somebody drop Ella's ch uh, channel in there. Encourage her to make more videos. Say, Ella, please make more videos. Ella and Ella is also monetized. And so next time she, um, I don't know if she has super things. I know I have those on my videos. So if you do, if you are catching that replay and you want to donate, you can hit the super thanks and send me money if you want. Uh, if you don't like the cash app or the PayPal, I just wanted to get that out there. But anyways, like the motherfucking stream, guys, please. Back to Ella uh, tearing into Shani's ass. Like your weights, obviously, just never cross your mind. It's never been an issue. The fact that you can't walk, not an issue. Just whatever. It's just gonna keep eating like this and drinking soda out of a bottle every 30 seconds. Like, girl, like, get your life. You're, I, I don't even know what to say anymore about you. It's like, God, wait, literally, when I think you can't thank get you, any of a person, you actually- Thank you, Alibus. This nigga. Thank you, thank you. Top yourself. So I just wanted to point that out that yes, she 100% said you you want you needed buco pain meds. I don't know why you fucking lied in that chat and said that you don't take pain meds and Irish people don't feel it. And that's a, I don't know why Rev's sitting there. I don't know a lot of things, but I'm glad CPS is in your life. It's about fucking time, and I hope they fucking do something. Have a nice fucking night. What is it, Will? Oh, this part. Oh, he's laughing. Never mind. Okay, I'm gonna slow this down. And she said, "What is it, Will?" Because this is the point where they realized that Rev was coming back, and she asked him, "What is it, Will?" And then she says, they're laughing. There goes Carrie. Right there, being a bad, bad girl, Carrie. Here we go. Okay, so that's when she pauses. So he said, we're both, we're not laughing. We're both crying about him coming back. I don't want, and then it was cut. So apparently, obviously, he was probably saying, I don't want him to come back. And she muted say that one more time something have a nice fucking night what is it will stream labs what you talking about you love black people stream labs oh he's laughing never mind he's laughing never mind you can't even tell your fucking kid is crying bitch uh, no. Out of the mouth of babes. Oof. That was an excellent video, Ella. Please, please make more. Please encourage her, guys. I t I pinned her her link up in the chat. This whole video was done by Ella. Please go sub to her and encourage her. Watch her other videos and encourage her to make more videos. Go, but but especially watch this one. Get the I don't know how many views we got to get it up to, but get it up there and leave her. Um, uh, encouraging fucking comments. She's a mom of two, single mom, takes care of them boys, uh, loves them boys, um, do anything for her boys. I hope she doesn't mind me speaking on this, but she had a situation where she had to get a man out of her life and did the exact same thing where she made sure that motherfucker didn't come back to the house no more. You know, and, and her children weren't be, her children weren't the the target. She was, and she made sure that. That motherfucker ain't never come back to her house. 
won her case in court. So go go over there and give her some uh, encouragement, please, please. I don't know what words I'm saying because you know whatever because I'm dumb. Anyways, now we're gonna get to the good good. Uh, well, not the good good, but the funny shit about Rev talking about his dick. Here we go. Let me pause it. Let's go back here. Let's hear what Rev has to say. And wonderful evening, folks. Hi, uh, how are you? This is a Revelation News with a little 10 second bit of a little bit. Right there was 10 seconds, and we're going volume all the way down now. See? That was some wonderful jazz. Uh, you know, you call that smooth jazz, whatever you want to call that. That would be public domain. Uh, uh, ac access to information, folks. I got the Reverend Dude hat on, but it, it really doesn't, you know. How, how are you guys? Uh, I'm on my road on the new world. Oh, congratulations after the rain. Congratulations. I believe, uh, I believe the solstice. Uh, we recently had, I'm on military time, 2,200 hours. Military time on my, 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 my situation here. So, so basically, this is before Rev decided to announce that he was back at the house. So they were lying. They were sitting there trying to play this game that he wasn't at the house while he was sit out in the fucking driveway and record. And so here he's recording and he's he's just ramble. That's what he would do. He would record. It's funny how as soon as his, his stupid fucking ass got out of jail, he started recording videos. Right. These two are this is this right here amongst other people that we know online, you know, certain pressed individuals. They're fucking addicted to all forms of social media. And um First thing he does when he gets back home is fucking stream. Motherfucker even said he didn't even take a shower, right? Got got his phone, charged it, got in the car, started recording videos. Right? The internet has been a detriment to so many fucking people's lives. It's not even funny. You know? It's just crazy. Like, people don't even like you. That's what I, I, I understand, right? Because there's motherfuckers that get on here because people suck their dicks and shit like that. You know, they get a little community sucking their dick and shit. So they, they get addicted to coming on here and getting getting uh, head from the audience and shit. But then there's people like fucking Rev that the people don't even like. I even get like, like, like for instance, one of the people I'm talking about is Panini. Some of you guys may not know who I'm talking about. If y'all want in the chat, uh, Nova, anybody want to know who Panini is, you know, go ahead. Uh, let them know. But um, there's a guy I've been streaming recently. So that that's a clue. Um, but certain people like him, at least he has, he has a little squad of people sucking his dick, tell him that he's smart, tell him that he's handsome, tell him that he's a good singer. So I kind of understand that. Right. But Rev and Shani, they get little people that gas them up, but the majority of the people that come in there in their chats and talk to them fucking hate their guts. I don't get it. I don't get it, but let's continue. I want to talk to you intimately. And uh, I'm going to be using a light here. It's going to be a must. So it's going to be battery situation, but it's not bad, you know. Uh, we're just doing that. Yeah, that one. This one's stuck. See, there, everything is. Well, something must have happened. I hope them kids did go to a foster home because if he's not so legally supposed to be there, he should be arrested, right? Not the kids shouldn't be uprooted out of their house. I mean, maybe, the, you know, excuse me, take that back. The kids should be taken from their house. But he should be in jail because that's he shouldn't be legally allowed there. Correct? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Perfect in this. This is why it needs to be restored. But some of this, I'll tell you what it has to do with some of it. Some of it has to do, I wish this would really stay on here, but it's not cooperating at all. See, the studio, uh, that's a situation. Hang on a second, all right? Be in my lap, you know. I, I got to do like a like appropriate. Yeah, I got to put the steering wheel up. Man, that would be interesting to drive it like that. I might do that someday. Okay. And hang it. Okay. Yeah, you're going to be at like an angle down at my crotch. That's bizarre. Nobody wants to be So, what's crotch. up, guys? You know, I want to talk to you on a human level. There you go. You hate to defend me, Justin Troyer. You don't ha I, that comment just popped up. How you doing, God Justin Troyer? Damn it. That's a shout out to just Justin Troyer cuz you just showed up in in my I yeah. I got pretty solid Wi-Fi, so if you guys get me to 500, I could live stream you my life, and that's what's going to be, you know. Wait, hold on. Let me pause it. So now they change it, right? So now, now you don't need a thousand to to um to live stream from your phone. You only need 500, and also you get a wall now. So I did all this fucking streaming and and busting my ass to get to a thousand back in the day, and then okay, there we go. It snapped in. 
Oh my, okay, I'll do this when I'm done. Anyways, I did all that shit just, just to, for this guy to get to almost 500 and so he can stream. Shame on y'all. Oh, my bad. And I'm not gonna say what, what make it is, what company even it is, God, that thing. It's, you know what it is with this car, guys? Uh, it's an old school car. So uh, they have these plastics in them, old school style plastics. That Y'all don't be good or you're gonna have to make an apology video. You understand me? Stop it. Stop talking about what Nova's doing in the bedroom. I'm gonna make you make an apology video, stop. If it gets humid, it sticks like the lock mechanism, right? Unlock. Okay, we're all unlocked. It works perfect. Now lock, you might have to press it a couple times. You know, you're, I remember because I'm an 84 baby. We're going back. Oh, this God, is the same age as me, girl. I, might, I have here two books. People are just going to lose their minds with this stuff because the problem is, is that mainstream Christianity has demonized so many things. And it's become all satanic to Christians, which is sad because there's... There are, the, I, Shani was playing her TikToks, which I might be Asperger's because. There's blood in the water, apparently. Um, guys, if you ever get a chance, make sure you go back and watch that video when he first got out of jail and then compare it to this shit. All he does is ramble now. No, nothing he says makes sense. Uh, I can't no, do TikTok for No, I will not take my you. beautiful blue shirt off, okay? Like, um. I, I don't mean losing it, losing it, but like I, it's very hard for me to deal. Uh, man, I'm trying to I'm trying to get right with, with what a grumpy lobster. Like what I mean there, I'm conserving battery too. It's very hard to describe sometimes the way I feel because I I I I I, I I'm a Christian and I do have like strong beliefs, right? I do, like very strong beliefs, but I don't want those strong beliefs to be. Uh, oh man, that's very intimate. And yeah, I'll put it on the bottom part of the steering wheel with the steer. Wow, that's perfect. Okay, you're like in my lap here. No innuendos or weirdness. Like I know though, this is the problem with America and and the, the zeitgeist and and what the word zeitgeist means. If you're not aware of the word, is is it means the 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 air the the, 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 the feeling of an era. That's the zeitgeist. And the zeitgeist now is offense. Everybody is offended, and and Jesus, wow, this is cool. Okay, now I can do this. No, it's not that everybody's offended. There are groups now that can speak up and use their First Amendment right to tell you that the shit that you're saying ain't cool no more. Okay, and now sometimes can it go overboard? Yes, like anything can. But there's certain there's certain groups, certain uh, um, oh, I don't want to say oppressed, but like marginalized groups that that we can speak up and say how we feel about shit that you say. And now you guys get pressed because you don't like the response you get. And we'll let there be light. This, these are old mirrors and it's like the bulbs are, they last forever. They're, <laughs> there. The bulbs last forever in these because the batteries, uh, the electronics are, if there's a huge EMP, I'm still gonna have, this is like V's ride in cyberpunk. It's old school looking shit. Like it's digital, but it's old school looking. Like check it, you know what I mean? Like it's this is a Ken Kingston thing in here that they put in. I want to get the original radio and put it in here eventually. But see, you know what I mean? It's digital. It's digital. But it's old digital. It's it's old digital. And I'm here on my lot. This is the first thing I have to address because it's God, you guys. I don't know how anybody can take you seriously, any of you, because you make reality what you want it to be, and you. Nigga, you was just talking about how. The light bulbs last forever and it's just old. What the fuck are you talking about? How can anybody take your stupid fucking... You call me an idiot for believing the Bible saying it's lies. It is. And I got my scripture. This is, this is the Metatron Bible. The, this will be the item that everybody is going to be like, oh, see, there's the key. The tree of life is that this is the tree. Shani okay, and I, but Shani has one. I took the gold one and she took the silver one. And, and it's the tree of life and the key. It's around her neck and, and we're connected forever. That... <laughs> He either has to be severely mentally ill, which I'm not shitting on anybody who's mentally ill, or he has to be, or, or he has something. Something is wrong with this guy. And then, or, 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 he, or he's on drugs, or he's like kind of both. And I know if you do heavy drugs, can sometimes lead into mental illness, but he just jumps from topic to topic to topic to topic to topic to topic to topic. None of them have any in, anything that connects them. It's so weird. And she knows this. And I'm working my way back to you, babe. With learning, you know, that shit. 
I kind of really do resemble Heath Ledger a little bit, which is weird because in prison, the one compliment was really nice in prison. The one guy said to me, I got called, I had, the one Hispanic said, a guy said, I had a huge dick. He said, that, I heard him. He said, oh yeah, that white boy is really pretty, man. He was pretty looking like his shape and shit. And he had a really nice big dick, man. You know, so they said I had a big dick in fucking prison. So I don't know. To some it's small, to some it's too, too, too big. Ramstein, pussy. Uh, too big, too small, size does matter after all. Sure. So somebody's been watching me because I literally played fucking Ramstein not too long ago. Now, now let, let, let's break down what he just said. He said, stop thumping what? I don't know what you're talking about. He just said that while he was in jail, a Hispanic man said, let's, let's go back. We'll go back. Let's, let's hear what he said. Listen to what this guy said. Ledger a little bit, which is weird. because He says he looks like Heath Ledger. You do not look like Heath Ledger. He, not only was Heath Ledger a great actor, he was a good looking guy. You, you are neither. Okay. All right. Obviously. Um, I don't know if I should let this. Oh my God. I can't let this dude. Okay. Anyways. Okay. And the masters of stupidity. El Sargento has just tipped $19.99 through Super Chat by the power of Numskull. G Man has no power. Darknesses, just rotating the petty fund around. Oh, okay. Just giving Indiana bitch ass some content to talk about. Okay, cool, cool. Because you know, yeah, they got to talk about how we circulate the same $5. Thank you, thank you, sir. Listen to this again. Here we go. Dude, about to throw uh, in prison, the one compliment was really nice. In prison, the one guy said to me, "I got called." I had the one Hispanic said, "A guy said I." Pebo Thalu has donated five Australian dollars through super chat. I don't know what to say, Trisha. Wait, we've just seen Shani on a vid with three different substances. Imagine Reverend on just beer and caffeine. This. This. Exactly. Exactly. Thank you, people, too, for the $5 Australian. Thank you, also, Hunter, for the $20. Uh, but listen, so the one Hispanic guy said... I had a huge dick. He said... Now, you know that one right there is a lie. The only way that a, some guy in jail is saying that he has a huge dick is if that guy's dick is about this big. Okay? And maybe that guy had a micro penis, and so compared to, to that guy, Rev had a huge dick. Okay? Um, here we go. I heard him. He said, oh, yeah, that white boy is really pretty, man. He was pretty looking like his shape and shit. And he had a real. Now, let's break that down. So he said that white boy is really pretty. No, so I don't believe the dick part. I don't think that this guy told me he had a huge dick. Do not think he said he had a huge dick at all. Um, we Rev, unfortunately, because people like to troll and people are disgusting. I've seen your, your fucking porno shit. It's, it's terrifying. You fucking a disgusting behemoth of a woman. Um, with your tiny ass dick and her sucking on it and the pictures and why that big fucking like donut of fat around your dick it was disgusting you do not have a big dick stop lying to yourself so that right there is a lie but the other part where he said that white boy is really pretty looking and i like his shape that i think he's telling the truth rev they were not complimenting you okay maybe they were in your mind but they were talking about fucking you my man um, never been to jail, never been to prison, but I heard they like, they, they, they'll, they'll fuck the shit out of you in jail. And so, and, or in, in those, in those, uh, facilities, so they were complimenting the way your body, they like your shape, right? Men don't really have a shape. Like you don't hear people talk about men having shapes. So that means that they liked your hips and, and they liked your ass and they wanted to fuck you. My man, that sounds really, really weird that you would take that as a compliment if I was you, I'd have been fucking scared in jail of hearing some crazy some guy say some shit like that about me. What? And he's saying it's a compliment. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming nobody took it because I don't think he'd be so cheerful here. But hell, let's let's keep watching. Really nice big dick, man. You know. So they said I had a yeah, he's lying. big dick in fucking prison. So I don't know. To some. So I don't know. Some it's small. To some it's too 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 big. Ramstein. Pussy. Pussy. Uh, too big, too small, size does matter after all. Sure it does. Some girls like a four-incher. A three. Three inches in is the G-spot on a woman. I don't know which, what woman you fucking three three inches in the pussy's the G-spot. Uh, most women get off uh, from clitoral stimulation. Um, some women do get off from uh, vaginal penetration. They're, they're far rarer than the ones that get off from clitoral 
clitoral stimulation though um that's why you gotta do a little bean rubbing too or or, or licking uh, before you uh get up there you know what i'm trying to say but um yeah so i don't know what you're talking about now i know uh not every woman is a size queen there's women women that don't like tw- not every woman like 12 inches of dick okay not everyone wants a fucking foot long penis in them um some women want an average size penis yeah like i feel like a six inch or something they're good you know what i'm saying that you know um but yeah it's not every woman wants a fucking humongous penis you know what i'm saying but uh three inches eh, i don't know uh, i don't know i don't know i don't know yeah i don't get it uh that's weird i don't know who what what book he's been reading that's kind of strange but okay he got a little dick, everybody. Just just, just trust me. You can tell just from talking about it, he got a little ass dick. You get a nice, solid, meaty, like, you know, four-inch, five-inch girth and three-inch. He's God damn, Hussy. Shit. <laughs> Hussy's a size queen, y'all. Hit in the G-spot. She's going to be spewing. She's gonna Angles are your friend. Warmness all over his dick, which that's the best feeling. I could... This might have to become an 18-plus channel because I am raunchy. I'm like Bill Hicks, okay? I have a sit. This is the blessing. I, I, oh, I guess Ella heard too much. Ella's like, Yeah, I'm out. <laughs> Bye, Ella. I love you too. <laughs> out here in the back, the, the guy, because there's a front and a back, and it's like I'm, I'm in between two garages, and there's a, there's a street here. That's it. And people walk by here. It's a side street, but it's quiet side street. The Lord did all this. It's in southeastern Pennsylvania. That's all I'm telling you. I'm not telling you what kind of car he got or anything. You know, you, a smart person will be able to look at the instrumentation and they'll know the model of car and everything. And it's one of the. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? How do you jump off? Of, first, he's talking about his car and how old it is. Then he's talking about music. Then he's talking about the Bible. Then he starts talking about jail and how he looks like Heath Ledger. Then he starts talking about his dick size. Then he's talking about G spots. Now he's back on to where he is in Pennsylvania, how he's not going to tell people. How do you jump from subject to subject like that? It's very, I don't get it. Best rides in the history of, of, of United States car making in Detroit. And that's the only fucking, a real aficionado, well, if you will, I can do this, video, okay? I don't know guy. if you'll hear it, but I did that, okay? I, I, I revved it. A true aficionado of a car will know what I'm in right now. And it's known as a mobster getaway car. Enough of that. Here we go. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse, Tommy Vercetti, GTA Vice City. I'm gonna, Tommy Vercetti. I'm gonna make you an offer you can't refuse. You understand? You get what I'm saying? All right. This book. Okay. This is to be held at the House of the Temple, and I probably. All right. I'm not deaf sure not watching this for now. Will be returning prophecies in here. I wrote all, all right. seventy some pages. Prophecies, and that's, more that's ramblings. It. And now all of my mom's music comes up. Okay. If you're a creator, you have to sympathize with with like like uh, Metallica. What? I got a very rough spot, but I have a Meta account. I I can make money. With, I have a bank account, a Meta account. You know, that's wow. I can be in a car with a phone and Wi-Fi, and I can live. Really nice. And I can oh yeah, like okay. He's still lying at this point. Okay. It's, it's old school stuff, so it's like it's low power. He thought he was in shame. Like it's a house. A robot. <laughs> Alright, next video. Dr. I can't do this one anymore. This is the Reverend with green behind him because green. If I saw you with that shirt on, I would beat you up and, and, and rip it off you. You should not be wearing Ninja Turtles. You know. Wow, folks. Okay. So, Rev Dude here. This is yeah. going to be one of... It's not any teaching video. It's just answering stuff because i'm like a celebrity right? oh <laughs> he's like a celebrity you see what i'm saying narcissist i don't know where in the world you thought you're like a celebrity my guy people hate you you are reviled you are infamous on the internet i'm pretty sure most of the people in this chat would beat your fucking ass if they saw you on the street come on bro especially for beating up kids come on come on Yado, you need to get that new Ninja Turtle game, bro. They they made they redid the game. Now you can play with April O'Neil, Splinter, and Casey Jones once you beat it. I said yesterday in my in my esoteric, and I want to apologize to people that are saying that Jesus, Jason, you're so discombobulated. 
that you can't even spring, you can't string like a coherent thought together. That, that's not true, actually. I can, but I have a tendency to ramble sometimes because I get excited about things. You know, Teenage Mutant, Ninja Turtles, like that. Did the neck thing. There goes the neck thing, guys. Let's see it one more time. Like a coherent thought together. That, that's not Teenage true. Mutant, I can, but I have a tendency to ramble sometimes because I get excited about things. You know, Teenage Mutant, Ninja Turtles. Like that. Yeah, he's back on the drugs, guys. I might be heavily ADD. Um, you definitely have some kind of ADD or ADHD, something. I personally really haven't come to a conclusion on that. I would, I, I but I am in mental health care now, and I'm going to be hooking up with people down here in, in the southeast mm. uh, PA region. Uh, we have mental health partners and 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 so. So, um, I know the super chat's about to come from the on one, on the only people Lulu. Again, because I got that freedom that I I can use my phone and do what I want now that I'm out of the, the clink. I I have the opportunity to ask folks. What exactly are you thinking? Because here's the deal. I have openly admitted to you that the reason that Shani and I have broken up is due to the fact that I struck and kicked in the, the ribs, Zachary. And okay, okay. I see what you were talking about earlier. That he, now he's saying that he kicked them in the ribs. Uh, first off, um, I don't know why people do those things. It's a look at his eyes still can take it i don't know why i didn't read that but that's weird thank you people too um so so um i don't know if ella wants me to say it i'll say but ella was telling me that he could be on a release for a mental health thing that's why he got his case got dismissed on paper but it's not actually dismissed and if he does not um if he does not uh finish that program that helps with his mental health because he probably was screaming, um, you know, he was having mental health, a uh, mental health crisis when he got booked, or maybe that was the defense of his uh, attorney. Um, and uh, so they decided to, um, you know, give him, give him, put him in that program instead of charging him like they should have. Uh, and if he, if he continues with his mental health and gets better, um, they won't formally charge him with anything but if he fails or, or fucks up he might end up getting charged that's what uh, if i'm saying that correct i don't know if ella's watching now but if i said that correctly uh let me know but she was telling me that was probably the reason why his shit got dismissed and he was let out i mean i'm just saying what she told me i don't know if she could be wrong too who knows um but that's it sounds like it fits but apparently according to my lovely ella that's she said that's what's going on with this fucking idiot and why he's out not in jail and why he's all of a sudden now in, um, doing mental health and why he was at the hospital that day. So there you go. Anyways, let's go. Let's I wasn't continue. even aware that he had injuries. Okay. This is insane. I had no. See, after the rain, me too. They, the kids obviously are distraught that he's coming back. Shani said he, he hit him. He said he hit him. But if you look at the charges, the charges, he refused a legal aid or attorney. He had no representation. Liv, uh, Morningstar, um, somebody, I think Mango told me he actually did have counsel, though. At the at the end of the day, he did have counsel. Um, I got to get up with Mango and ask her for that, but she told me he actually did uh, have counsel. Um, and the second thing is, and I could be wrong, and the second thing is, um, it is kind of confusing because Shani said that he hit the kids. He admits he is the kids. The kids obviously are destroyed, distraught that he was coming back. It all it all seems like he did probably put his hands on them kids. I don't know why he would be admitting this online. Like I, I would assume that um, a guy who's back at the house, maybe that's why the children were taken by CPS. So I guess we'll have to keep an eye out for that. But I would assume that a man that's not supposed he would not be allowed to be back in that household. And now he is. And that's why the kids might be gone. So who knows? Clue he had injuries. It turns it, it's, it's really confusing. I'm not. I'm. Don't blame you for being confused. Out that this poor boy had injuries. He he had bruised ribs. Now, for me, you have to understand that I. This is good that I'm going through great pain because you're not seeing me cry about Shani off air because I don't do that. That Shani was the one to be very outspoken, and 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 and, and being like, guys, you know, oh, I'm crying in this stuff. Okay. That's not me. You're not going to get me to do that because that's just not in my character to, to mourn. Once again, don't take anything I say as the gospel truth. I'm just listening to what other folks that pay attention to this a little bit more than me or have said. 
And I'm just saying what what I've been trying to make sense out of it. I'm not saying any of this is the gospel motherfucking truth. You know what I'm trying to say? So y'all can take what I say with a grain of salt. I'm going to say this one more time because I got 200 of y'all here. Like the stream, please. Let's continue. Or openly cry about a situation. That's just not the way I roll. See, I don't get that either, Carrie. He admits on camera that he fucking hit the kid. How the fuck does that go? I don't get it. I don't get it. Now, see, you guys are once again revealed to be to being uh, 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 abusive again. Yes, two new videos. The fact out. of the matter is, is that Shannon is what you would call the victim in this situation. No, the child that you struck is the victim unless you hit Shannon and you guys are lying. But the only way Shanny is the victim is that if you hit Shanny, that's how she would be the victim. Other than that, it's the motherfucking child. Um, according to Shanny, that last video that if you were here, Madonna, that I was playing, that uh, uh, the Ella made, she said that CPS took the kids for some some kind of reason. But she didn't say they were taken, taken. But she said like the kids, they took the kids for something. I don't know. Let's see this XX. She, she is the victim. And then you come along again and abusively say, no, you're not a victim. Zachary, in, in, and in essence, you're making Zachary a liar in channel. saying that it, did, it, that it didn't happen. Yeah, you're forcing him to say it didn't happen. I'm telling you that this is the most disgusting and dark shit I've ever seen. Uh, you guys have gotten really low, but now this is low, low. I am telling you that I am a horrible sack of shit, and, and, and repentance for me is, is a, an absolute must for every day now for, until the day I hit the grave because I put my hands on, on, on a young child. Not in a sexual way. I want. I don't want any innuendo. It's not sexual. It's it's a hundred percent. Yeah. Just... Okay. Most of the time, with somebody like I would hope it wasn't that, and you would come on here and fucking admit that. But, um, yeah. Most of the time, when people say I put my hands on a child, it's 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 it's, it's taken as you hit them. Um, I don't know where in the world where you say you put your hands on a child that means you fuck them. I don't know what you where that comes from, Rev. But okay. Physical harm, like Rain Man says about Charlie Babbitt. They're, they're driving in, in, in Charlie Babbitt and Rain Man's father's car, going down the street, and Rain Man gets a little... Okay, so he does have two new videos up. Let's have a quick look at it. Uh, Rev, I don't know why you have a Porsche up there. You'll never drive one. Let's see. My great hey guys, cameo. this is a public service announcement from, from Rev. He looks terrible. Uh, I am a user of the platform called Cameo. Back in the and house. And I very much love that. But I want... I'm going to tag this with uh, my... It's it, the title of the video is going to be my hashtag cameo uh, gripe. And here's the gripe. I have noticed now because we have two, count them, two cameos made by wonderful entertainment individuals by the name of Mr. Gilbert Godfrey and Mr. Louis Anderson that R. have P. passed away since they made those. They knew Shanny, praise God, before. They didn't know Shannon. You paid them to give you a shout out. That's all it was. They went through the veil. Talking about a fucking cameo, yeah. The death, okay. Get to this it. This is my gripe with cameo. I think I paid for a product, and that product was this star saying my wife's name or my name. In both cases, it was for Shannon. I am very not happy with the fact that after they've have passed why should i lose my cameo of them when they've passed can i can cameo at least provide a download link so that i could download the cameo that i paid for after they've passed away uh i'm not happy with that that's what he's mad about he's mad that he didn't uh he wasn't able to keep his cameos that he bought from gilbert godfrey and louis anderson two people who have passed away priorities right um here's the thing so i i have i work with two different graphic designers whenever i'm <coughs> doing stuff for the channel right um whenever you see like uh whenever you see for instance okay so i want to show everybody all my business give me one second so Whenever it comes to like my shirts and stuff, I have a guy who does the shirt designs, right? So I have a guy um, who does, oh shit, I don't even know what's going on. Uh, one second. I got a guy who does these, the, the, the Petty University shirts. I got a guy that does this, right? I got a guy that does the Petty Family. These, by the way, get your, get your Petty Family shirts. Um, um, I'm gonna tell you why it's. I'm gonna tell you why it's. It's. It's why it's not a really a, a complaint, um, uh, Videl, because there's a couple of reasons, right? So this guy here, 
he makes these, right? He makes this. I got the stickers. I got the Petty University shirt. I got to put the bicycle shorts for the ladies because um, I care about the women more than the guys. Um, got my Petty University. If you want to get your get yourself a shirt, go ahead and get one. But I got a guy that makes these. His shit with him never expires. He makes these for me. I, I can always go back. I could, I could ask him for alterations, uh, anything. I can tell him, ask him for to change the color. I can ask for something new. He always sends me this stuff and I'm able to access it anytime I need it. Uh, unlimited, unlimited. It's not like, okay, you save it on your computer. That's it, right? And then if you ever see, hold on. So let's go here. Um, so for my channel, my channel art as this, I have another lady, very talented. She makes this stuff, right? But when she sends it to me, it's it's a limited time. Now I've worked with her enough times. Uh, it's like a limited link. Like I have to grab the stuff, download it to my computer, right? And then and, and then keep it. Right now I've worked with her enough times that I'm I'm pretty sure that she would um. I'm pretty sure that she would she would uh, give it to me again. I'm pretty sure she saves her shit, puts it in her portfolio, right? But I have a limited amount of time to grab this art before I can't have it anymore, right? And so that's, I mean, I get it. Yeah, he should, I get it. Like, yeah, he should be able to download it, right? But if you, you could screen record it, there's other ways to do it. Like if I knew if I was working with a site that gave me a product that had a limited amount of time on it, or I had to like screen record it or something, I would do that shit. And that's your problem. And I don't know. And at the end of the day, why are you complaining about that? You have other pressing matters, uh, like getting a fucking job or something like that to do, or, or doing that mental health program that you're supposedly in. Not worrying about motherfucking cameos. Like you got your priorities twisted. Um, So let's see what this video is. Hey guys, what's up? It's Reb. You know, oh, is he in the bathroom again? Is that the new bathroom? Time is running out. You need you need uh, Jesus Christ. You need him. G-Man will laugh at this video because he knows where I'm at. You know, he he knows. Uh, this is where the Miss Star video was made when I, I, I called out Miss Star for like harassing Shani. You know? Oh, that was a long time ago. He's a shell of his former self. Have you ever seen that video? This is where it was. But anyway. Uh, I have to talk to you about there's uh, there's verses in the Bible about the end times and how uh, people's hearts would be really on evil continually and um, a really bad state of affairs. You know what I mean? Like really uh, uh, people being offended. That's what Jesus said. Jesus said that the, at the time of the end, that many people would be offended. And I'm going to probably about the faith. I tell you something. If you're a Christian, what you need to do right now, because of the, the hour that we're at, it, like the stream, y'all. It's so close to him coming. You have to put all wrath and anger away from your mind and heart, and mainly your heart, because it's it's in it's in your heart that the hate and anger can ruminate and become a, a, a very big problem for everybody around you, okay? I'm, I'm saying this because I'm, I've, I've dealt with these, I've dealt with anger issues and stuff like this uh, quite a bit. Mm. And uh, now, it's, it's the same, man. I, 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 I have moments, you know, and I screw up, I do stupid things, and then oh, you know, there I goes have to the apologize neck. rightly. I have to apologize for them, you know, and it's, it's, it's a cycle of, of stupidity that I put myself oh, and, and others around me through. You know, mm. it's a constant struggle to, to not uh, have the ruminations of paranoia, like, oh, they're talking about me, oh, they're this, they're that, because that's part of schizoaffective. You know, you can, you can, I haven't taken the Zyprexa yet because I'm supposed to take my Zyprexa at night. So it's like I kind of had a day where it was weird. And then now tonight I'm going to be taking the Zyprexa on time. But I, I had one of my anti-anxiety meds, so I'm happy about that. But the point is, is that um, the, at the time of the end, it's very important, especially if you're you, uh, exclusively, really, I'm talking to Christians. You need to put your malice and anger away from you. 
because there's stuff in the environment and, and they, they have energy weapons and, and Russia has these these satellite weapons and all this crazy stuff that these is this is why you're seeing all of these the mass shootings and stuff. It's because they're buzzing us to agitate. Yeah, it, th- he, this guy used to have a big channel. He had a very large channel at one point, and now he 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 went nuts. I think didn't he get like fifty one fifty or something like that? This motherfucker is crazy. He's insane. You hear the conspiracy theory bullshit he's speaking. So the reason why we're not, we're having mass shootings not because there are uh, people uh, much like Panini are being fucking because he's a pussy. He would never do that. But people like him are being radicalized, right? Thinking that this country is being stolen from them. That 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 the brown and the blacks are you know are trying to erase you know Caucasians and all this other crazy shit. So they get upset and they can't get pussy. So they get up, they get they get their guns and go out there and fucking shoot up a bunch of bunch of people, right? Like the guy who shot up a bunch of Asian people, and then the guy, I mean, Dylan Roof, this other guy, one of this shot up some black folk, right? It's it's not yeah, the yeah, Alex Jones, the Alex Jones bullshit. What up, Eric? Um, you know what I'm trying to say? Uh, it's not that. It's because the satellites are buzzing people, and that's what's making people get shot up. Rev. You need to put your phone down and you need to get help. When you start thinking like this, you need to talk. You need to take your meds, make sure you're on your, the right meds. You need to talk to your, your therapist, psychologist, or whoever, because you're getting on here and you're rambling and you're saying shit that makes you sound completely insane. Like it, it's- Agitate, agitate, agitate. And if you're already a type that's already strung or you're schizoaffective and you hear things, they can play this so much, and, and it's, it's, it's warfare against the people, you know what I mean? But uh, I want to apologize to anybody that I've ever been offensive to, uh, and, 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 and uh, you know, clean start, that type of deal, because I feel horrible, you know? And my wife, I, 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 constantly, I constantly want to be apologizing to her for everything that I put her through. It's, it's you know, being human, it's, it's, it's shitty, but... Yeah, being human, you're verbally abusive to Shani, and I'm pretty sure she's, she is verbally abusive back, or both of you are physically abusive to one another, and you're a child beater. Um, fuck you. Fuck you. And that, that's not being human. Well, I guess in a sense it is being human because humans are despicable creatures, but that's not what a, being a good human being does. You don't put your hands on kids. You don't call your wife a stupid fucking cunt. You don't call her a piece of shit. You don't spit on her. You don't put your fingers to her forehead and say that you wish you had a gun. You don't do those type of things. That's not being human. I mean, that's not being a good human, I can say. Um, yeah, telling the kid uh, that you're going to beat their fucking ass and call them a piece of shit and then, um, coming, you know, uh, uh, doing it later. Yeah. The, yes, this is Shani's man controller. Yes, it is. But it's amazing. He's a shell of a man, but yeah. I'm going to tell you, I, I love, I love life and, um, I love people and I just want to be a better person and Jesus pray for me that Jesus makes me better and better. Amen. Petty fam, sexy energy weapons. I'm down for that. I'm down for that. All right, let's let's get a little bit more into this, and I'll probably end it after this video because I'm getting close to an hour and thirty. A lot of hand. Unless he, unless he puts neck. another video. In the movie Rain Man, in the car, and, and then Rain Man goes, uh oh, and he gets his backpack, and Tom Cruise is like Charlie Babbitt. Charlie Babbitt is is Tom Cruise in the movie, and Charlie Babbitt's going, "What the hell are you doing there with your? Because it's like you're, yeah, you're. He was recording abuse, which is of course what the people at Walbrook." Yeah, the, 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 the place where, where Rain Man was. That's another thing. When uh, I've noticed when he did his very first video, he did not twitch. There was no neck thing going on. He's doing that neck thing every two seconds. So I'm thinking when he gets high, when he gets really fucking high on whatever choice of uh, whatever substance he likes, that's the reason why he's always doing that neck thing. He's tweaking out. Staying was called Walt. He's doing it like every two seconds. And of course, they would tell him now, 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 Ray. If you ever hear, Ray, now Raymond, Ray, I want you to really listen to me, okay? If any of the people on the staff or anybody that comes to see you ever, ever puts their hands on you in a bad way, that, that, that is not right. And I want you to go to your notebook and I want you to record that and tell me, okay? The headmaster of that building would definitely say that. I want you to go report that. And then someone will come back to me and the person that abused you will be reprimanded, okay? This is the truth. This is how it would be handled in real life too. If, if that boy's autistic, he's, he's gifted in every way you could imagine. He's very smart in his own way. But, but he does have uh, uh, behavioral issues because of the autism. Now, me, as an asshole that didn't understand autism, came in as a father being, you're going to be a man, and, and try, you know. You've been around those kids for, what, three years? Hasn't he been around those kids for three fucking years? You don't know how this kid is now because you probably don't spend any fucking time with him. And, hey, at the end of the day, I get it. They're not your fucking kids. So you may not feel obligated to spend any time with them, right? They, they, that's what their mother 
What? Watched it like five times. That's what their mother said. Their mother's supposed to be giving them attention and stuff like that. Like, I get it. Sometimes that happens. Men get with women. They do. And I don't know how many women would tolerate that, but there are some women that will tolerate a man who doesn't necessarily want to deal with their kids. But you try to say that you're trying to act like a father and, 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 and a, a positive male role model to those boys, and you don't know how an autistic kid works after being with them for three years, being with them and their mother. That doesn't make any sense, Rev. It's probably because you don't spend any time with them and you tell them to fuck off anytime they want anything. Oh, because I had told Zachary 25 to 30 times, and that's not an exaggeration because I didn't want that boy being kicked out of school. And if, if they got wind of that, that, that he was on the computer all the time, he could he could get kicked out of his virtual school. So I was trying to be the father saying, look, son, you can't do this. And he kept, he, he just, uh, when I was in the household, he just didn't listen to me, Zachary, ever. Because he, i sure- Why would they listen to you? You verbally, you physically and verbally abuse everyone in that fucking house. Well, I don't know if he was putting his hand on everybody, but um, it was, he was Scott. He said he was Scottish, and it's just a weird noise that blew. Oh yeah, okay. Um, I I don't get that, bro. Um, okay, bye, Sting though. I'll see you later. Um, yeah, I don't get that, dude. Um, I don't care how many I don't care how many times I have to tell my kid not to do something. You know, it's not gonna happen. I'm not gonna kick. I'm not gonna knock her on the floor, or kick her in the stomach, in her face. If my if my daughter doesn't listen to me, I tell her to get off her phone or her computer or a video game or the TV. You know what I do? I walk up and I turn the TV off or I'll unplug it or I'll take the computer. There's no hands being put on anybody. You know, it's, it's not that serious, you know? Three sees things. Oh, what's a stepdad? Oh, it's the dad that you can step on. Wow. They're not your kids. They're not your children. And even if they were your children, I would condemn you for kicking him in the face and stomach. But they're still not your children. You shouldn't be putting you damn. If they're not your kids, you damn sure shouldn't be laying any kind of hands on them. That's I just realized that the stepdad is the dad you step on. Yeah, you are to be the way you treat their mother and them. Fuck you. And that was the case. But I took it that way. and It was not true because in my psychosis, like I have bouts with psychosis from time to time because of this gets so affected. I could be pushed so far into a oh, my God, state of stress that that I become what you would would, would coin or call psychotic. Then you need to be put in a facility if you're a danger to yourself and others. Like, and you're you're coming. Here's the bottom line: you're coming at Shannon. Again, I have to. I, I I'm I'm going to protect Shannon here because that's my role as 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 what I believe to be her husband. And and right now it's separation. Oh, this yeah. Once again, this is when they were pretending to be separated. Oh, excuse me. Kicked them in the ribs, controller. You. The reason why people are going after Shannon because she's their fucking mother. She's the last line of defense at the end of the day, right? She's the one that's a, not even the last line. Excuse me. She's supposed to be the first one to throw her body in front of her child if someone's going to attack them, right? If someone's attacking my kid, I get in front of that or I try to stop that threat, right? Me and my wife would get in front of that threat. We won't allow that threat to reach our child, okay? You know what I'm trying to say? That's what happens. You know what I'm saying? If I was hang, here's the thing. Like if I was hanging off the cliff and my daughter was hanging off the cliff and my wife could only save one of us, I would say, get, 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 get her. Fuck me. Get the kid. You know? And that's what you're supposed to do as a parent. Okay? And that's why people are blaming her. And it's making it worse because your bitch ass is back in the house. So if you actually put your hands on that child, you should not be in that motherfucking house. You should not be in that motherfucking house. Okay? And, and then that cliff scenario I just put now, if Shani was hanging off cliff and her kids were, and Rev could only save one, he, uh, both of them would probably tell, to, he would go for Shani and Shani would tell him to come for her. Me, I'd be like, no, get the kid. And I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be upset that I fell off the cliff and died. You're supposed to protect your kid. Because as far as I'm concerned, Shani has not said that we're done done because uh, we've talked on the phone a few times and, and, and it's cool. Yeah, because you guys were lying. Ain't nobody trying to fuck with Shani's disgusting ass. Ain't nobody trying to fuck with her nasty ass. She has too much of a storied history online. Ain't nobody past trolling her trying to get up in them guts. It's disgusting. So y'all, you guys pretty much are just fucked and have no other choice but to be with one another. Okay, so let, I, I'm so happy they at least stopped the charade. It's like it's like we're we're, we're very civil, and it's it's like you. He couldn't pull Shani up anyways. That's funny. Just need to get your shit together, Jay. And make so the, oh, so everybody would die in that scenario. Okay, then we'll see what happens. <laughs> And you're saying to her, she's the bad one for taking Zachary out of a situation that was that 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 could have led to long term abuse. No, no, she put she long term abuse. Oh, I'll get away with it. I'll get just keep hitting. The- you're back in the house. You're back in the fucking house. 
They're in danger again. You're back in the fucking house. See, this is why this is either bullshit or something's going on with the with the fucking the the the, the justice system because I know for a fact if a man gets in trouble for putting his hands on somebody else's children, like his girlfriend's children, they're not going to allow you back in the house. So I don't understand how you're back in the fucking house. But once again, from what we've heard uh, last time, Shani said that the CPS came and took the kid and she hasn't streamed since. So something's going on. And speaking of uh, CPS cases, Trisha done, Trisha done unprivated all her fucking videos. So... Uh, that may not be good there. She might have her kid back or, or she might have her kid back in custody or maybe they took her back completely. They took her away from her completely. Either way, it has to be one of those two scenarios because she's un, unprivated Emily has all her videos. dollars through Super Chat. I don't know what to say, Trisha. He's in the driveway. They're not separated. Oh, yeah, I know. I know, Mo. I know because I already played the videos of them in the in the same house, actually. Uh, that Rev is walking around the house and doing streams from the house. Yeah, I know they're not separated. This is when he was bullshitting. Yeah, that's not right. So again, you're again wrong. And, and once again, yeah, you can't believe anything Shani says about um about CPS. It's probably not even CPS. Because I'm the guy that you're standing up for, and I'm telling you, you're wrong for standing up for me. So who are you standing up against Shani for her abuse of her kid for taking me away? That's an abusive guy. She's protecting her son from, uh, from an abusive fucking asshole when he's not medicated. You pay the Nobody's defending you. If I was, I would have applauded Shani if she fucking broke your neck. Oh shit, dog. Uh, yeah, Jason got arrested. He hit my kid and I broke his fucking neck and now he's in the hospital. Nobody would have been mad. This is why nobody can take you Who's seriously. Who's defending Jason? I'm confused. Seriously. And, and, and the Dragoons, all of you, they, they don't take you seriously because you can't be taken seriously. You just can't be taken seriously because you're willing to, for the sake of making Shani for Christ look bad for your own weird fucking bizarre obsession with her you're going to demonize her child and make her child a, a bad guy for telling the truth about his father which is, it takes bravery you're not their father stop saying that he could be scared shitless nothing's happening and then dad is going to freak out tonight and beat me up even worse they were crying when they found out you were coming back that he thought he, i'm sure he thought that i oh I, I, I gave him injuries wow. that he had to go to an er okay and you're defending me you are an absolute sack of Neck shit you, you're the same people that defended johnny depp I'm on Johnny's side. I know not everybody might agree with that, but uh, obviously he won his case because Amber was the one that was in the wrong for the most part. So there you go. Um, but listen to him. Guaranteed you are because the Satanist shit is, is they love abusing kids, Satanists. Me. Then why'd you do it? I hate it, but I felt like I was being like a tough, good dad, Christian dad. If you spare the rod, then you spoil the child. No, that's a Bible verse that's misused to abuse children physically. And no, no. Wait, 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 you didn't get in trouble. Um, you didn't get in trouble for like spanking the kid, right? Hey, I, t I told this story before. I'll tell it again. One time I was dating this chick, it was a Mexican chick, and I was hanging out and I was hanging out with her, and she had her kid too. She had two sons, and they was in the back, and one of them was like kicking my chair, and I turned around and asked him not to kick my chair, and the one that was kicking my chair spit in my face, <laughs> right in my face, and I saw. So I took. I have. I know I had a hat on. I, Believe me, even my hairline was normal. I had hats. So I took my hat off. I took my glasses off. And I, and I grabbed a nap. I think she has like some tissues. And I cleaned my face. Right? And I was livid. I cleaned my face. And I took my belt off. And I beat his ass. I beat his ass. And that's not my kid. We was just kind of dating. Like we were probably ending up going to end up being boyfriend and girlfriend. But we were just dating. And I took my belt off. And I whooped his ass. I whooped his monkey ass. Okay, and and right after I calmed down, I said, "Oh shit, I fucked up." And I put, I put my hand on this woman's kid. Well, not my hand, but I done, I done hit this kid with a belt. I'm probably either gonna go to jail or get kicked out of this because we were in her car at that point. I'm gonna have to, end up, have to find a ride home. So he jumped out the car. He ran and found his mom. She come back, and she puts her head in the window because she had the window open. She said. Looked at me right in the face. Oh, hold on. People do it. People do it. Is, is, is giving y'all a break from the story. Here we go. Peebo Thalu has just tipped 10 Australian dollars through Super Chat. There you go, G-Man. Oh, wait. Maybe he's watching streams and seeing the comments towards Shani. Mm. Not believing the lies. And thinking, 
its support of Reverend underscore Sue underscore. Next thing, squirrel. Yeah. All right. So, um, so I, I, I she, 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 you know, she put her head down and looked at me and said, you hit my kid. And without, 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 without missing a fucking step. I said, yes, I did. I said, he, I asked him, he was kicking my chair. I asked him to stop. He, he, he cleared his throat and he spit in my face. So I took my belt off and I whooped his motherfucking ass. I said, I said, he's lucky because I said other men probably would have, what would have just started punching him. You don't spit in people's face. And she, cause he did, obviously the little boy didn't tell her that. So she's, get in the car he got in the car i'm like here we go and then she goes if he does anything again hit him again with the belt and his face he froze in terror when after i said after his mom so he was like and he never disrespected me again but i felt bad after i did that i should not have hit that kid i shouldn't have i should have got out of the car i should have cleaned my face and i should have went and told his mother your son just spit in my face i should have did that but i but i got angry and i took my belt off and i whooped him and i get i get a control i i I can support spankings in certain, like if my daughter spit in somebody's face, she's getting her ass whooped. I'm whooping your ass for that. You're getting your ass whooped. That's going to happen. I'm going to whoop you for that. Like, I don't hit my daughter too, but she's probably going to end up getting a, getting the belt if she fucking spit in, spits in somebody's face. Cause that's disrespectful and it's disgusting. But I should have got out of the car and told that woman that because some women probably would have beat my motherfucking ass for that. Some women probably might have beat me up for that or try to hurt me or get me arrested for putting for doing that. And I should not have done it. And I felt terrible for it. And I apologized after that. You know what I'm trying to say? But um, you don't put your hands on somebody's kid. He acts like he whooped it. And, and that was probably acceptable. What I did right there. Like, if, let's say that was my stepchild or something whipping him whipping uh whipping him with that belt probably and it wasn't like i was just beating him all over i hit him a couple times on his ass and he cried and ran out the car but that's different to what he did obviously there had to be some kind of tussle where you threw the kid on the floor you kicked him in the stomach and you kicked him in the head that had that's totally different rev than fucking hitting a kid with a belt because they're not doing what they're told Totally different thing. It's not like you were just disciplining them. That's what you would do to a grown ass man that you got in a fight with. You know, you tussling and then you knock him down, you kick him in the face of his ribs. That's what you would do to a grown ass man that you have in a fight with. And mentally. And I don't care if you if he if he was actually I don't think he had a mental breakdown when he did that. I think he was just had an argument with Shanny and then the kid was on his computer or doing something he didn't like and didn't listen to him, so he decided to beat him up because he felt some type of way about Shanny. It means don't let your kid run amok. <laughs> right, and that's what I was trying to do. But Zachary's autistic. Yes, yeah, Carrie. I'm just, what I I'm saying is, just... once again, that was not my child. I should not have put my hands on that child. I did. I spanked him, but I shouldn't have. That's what I meant. Um, years later, I would end up dating a, a girl, too, with a kid, and I wouldn't do that. And she would tell, oh, well, you could, you can. And I said, no, I'm not going to have... <laughs> MOE has donated $2 through Super Chat. I don't know what to say, Trisha. You beat him like Lil Chris from Friday? Hashtag trash cans. Yeah, basically. Basically, he got a whooping like that. But um, uh, still, I, I was dating another girl that had uh, kids, and she was telling me, well, you, you're kind of like their stepdad. And I said, I'm not putting my hands on them kids. Those are your kids. Okay? I said, we get married, and I adopt them. Different story, but those are your kids. And they have a daddy. And I'm not gonna be putting my hands on him so that man come over here and he get shot. Okay, so I'm not I'm not putting my hands on on, on on your kid. I'll just tell you what he's doing. If he's gonna break something of mine that's expensive, that's a different story. I will I will get that up out of his hand, but I'm not gonna be hitting him or your kid or your daughter. So you take care of that. Jail. So I guess that means you just coddle an autistic kid and they get away with everything and they say absolutely not. You're well, autist I don't have an autistic kid, but um autistic children, you have to they're not Please forgive me for anybody's autistic in the audience, but it's not like raising a kid without autism. Perfect. Um, you know, they're not going to, they, you can't treat them like you would a kid that doesn't have autism. Okay. There's a way you, ha you have to go about things and all that. So you can't just go on and fucking oh, stop doing this. And he just doesn't do it. And you beat their fucking ass. That's not how you, that's not how you treat autistic kids. Obviously you fucking piece of shit. Rev needs his ass beat. What'd you say? My niece threw up on me when she was an infant. I beat the brakes off that baby. <laughs> you fucked up. Uh, ooh. Hey. Hey, Pinky Page. How you doing? 
Oh, back to packing. Oh, she's moving. Oh, better be moving close to me. No, I'm just joking. I'm joking. Stop. Anyways, let's go. But the way you handled it, you can't do that. You can't just say. You can't just say. Well, hey, I'm gonna say this, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, regardless if, uh, if, if, if you know, hey, it's whatever. If you do, what you're doing. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get into that with people. But you heard what happened with Roe v. Wade. So anybody, um, and I'm just. If you, I'll just say, don't have any kids, y'all. Don't have any kids. Because here, here's why I'm saying don't have any kids. One, shit ain't getting less, any less expensive. And if any of you had children, you know how expensive it was. I've had, and, and I know how expensive it was, uh, and it's and it still is raising my kid. Um, and also, what it does is it ends up fucking, it ends up fucking the workforce um, because these places want to be so stingy and they want to be, they want to still. You, what you're doing is you're fucking the workforce by not having any kids. So don't have any more kids. Don't have kids. Have one or don't have any um, and just live your life and go wherever the fuck you want. Um, make sure you have a retirement plan and you save money so you, when you're old, you can take care of yourself and don't have any kids and help fuck up, fuck up, uh, fuck up the uh, economy. And then what the, the this country will have no choice but to um, ship in a bunch of brown, brown and black people in the country to work from poorer countries. They'll have no choice. They have to do what uh, Japan is doing right now. Japan is getting ready to let all types of immigrants over there for work because they don't have uh they don't have enough workforce because at some point uh people stop having having a lot of kids in Japan. So yeah, just don't have any kids and fuck fuck this country over. Anyways, there we go. My son is bold and this was a white I only have one kid too. White guy that was supporting me. This is the big secret in prisons. And this ties in with Freemasonry because Albert Pike uh wrote about the third three world wars. This is a big deal, okay? This ties right in my personal experience with Jesus Christ in the prison and everything. Got How do you talk about defending your wife about people uh, um, um, supporting you and the, the, the attacking her? Now you're talking about prison and Freemasonry. This cheap at the dollar store with some of the money, and I, I don't know if it's gonna fit my thing. We're gonna see. That's that's a baby carrot. Look at that, do 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 baby carrots. Now that's the size of a baby carrot. <laughs> you eat it right. Not my penis is bigger than my penis. Looks like V's penis. Like really, it does. In Cyberpunk, the, the digital model of his penis. It yeah. Okay. Okay, so guys, he's talking about Cyberpunk, which is a game I need to finish. He's saying that his dick Oh, it's raining shit. He's saying that his dick is as big as V. So you can, when you're a male, you can make your dick, you can like make the size of your dick. Now, here's the thing. That's like a 65 inch curved television. Um, sh uh, there's, a, there's a new Darth Vader LG L um, Q uh, LED I want, but it's way too expensive because I'm not going to pay that when this TV works perfectly fine. So when you put V on the TV and you can make his dick long, right? But think about it. His dick, no matter how you how big, how close you zoom up on it, it ain't gonna be no more no bigger than that. So that's about the size of his dick. He got a little ass dick, and now he's talking about how he's he's a, he's sizing himself up to a video game character. What a sad life you live. What a sad Rev. Can you can you wear a Magnum, Rev? Can you wear a Magnum? Magnums are made for big guy dick guys with big dicks. Can you wear a Magnum, Rev? Can you? I won't. I won't say if I can or I can't. I'll let you guys uh, figure that one out. But um, can you wear one? You don't have a big dick. Okay, stop. It looks like meat and flaccid. Uh, he forgets we have pictures. I didn't want to see, but vaporizer tobacco because the cigarettes are very rare. I get one from somebody because I'm not going to spend people's money that they give me on uh, walking down the street here with my sign in the window. You know, uh, I'm homeless. Uh, could, could you spare a few? I don't work for food. Uh, it's, it's, I got a cardboard piece. And, 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 and I haven't had a job offer yet. That's crazy, right? But I'm trying to get employment at the Valero, and I think they'll pass me, maybe. I will see the background now because I have the DB. I don't know, man, the background checks. And then I got this for emergencies. It's really... Who said that? That's going here. Okay, so we need to talk. Esoteric, esoteric uh, <laughs> Freemasonry. Speculative. That's another way they... Rev saying he has a giant dick. Call it speculative speculative you gotta wear his magnums <laughs> freemasonry okay so we have to talk about this because it's a big deal this this all ties in with with what i see in the prison I oh you got jokes videl you got jokes yeah okay videl you got jokes okay i tried okay mm -hmm. all right okay videl i got you i'm gonna tell you 100 percent. this is a testimony from a guy that's just been out of jail that they are causing systematic racism in this country <laughs> you heard I said Dixon had to come back. <laughs> you got the horny. What's my shoe size? I wear a size 13. Um, boots are 12. By way via 
via by way of the prison system. Oh God, they, I heard what I think about my wang. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't mean to do that. Inducing, they're inducing racism into the culture. I am telling you that I saw fewer than 20, definitely fewer than 20 white males. It's not mixed prison in like LCP, Lackawanna County prisons, not mixed. I don't know if any prison's mixed and crazy like that, you know, where everybody's throwing. I don't think so. Uh, uh, I, I, I'm pretty sure in Europe they have much uh, more humane system, and but they but they commingle and they have like uh, communal communal showers, showers with with guys and women stuff like that. That's very liberal, you know. Like like uh, going back to Rome in the days of Rome, and and they got the uh, the college uh, God, he's communal so baths. He rambles so much. I say all that because I see in prison Albert Pike's. Now Albert Pike is the author of Morals and Dogma. He's an esoteric man in general, uh, and, and pretty pretty gray. I believe in his thinking. Okay, so Rev. Rev is saying that prisons are racist because there's not enough white people in jail. Is that what he's saying? I'm sorry has donated $2 through Super Chat. I don't know what to say, Trisha. Yato could literally crawl oh. inside a magnum. Damn. Damn, Wilson. Oh, Pinky Page is getting nasty in here. Woo. So not good, not evil. Like what writing that the, the that that narrow thing and doing shadow work that's some evil, evil stuff, some good stuff, some evil stuff. That, that's where I think Pike was at. Because he understood the value of uh, uh, subversive tactics. But I'm moving on. That yeah, you can't make sense of the shit he says. He moves from topic to topic like the wind changes directions. It's weird. It's not what this is about. I just threw that in there because it all ties in with everything. Okay? <laughs> the prisons are, 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 are segregated by race and everybody's hating each other. And, and, they're, and, and they, they, they are definitely incarcerating oh. in large numbers African Americans and, and Hispanics and, and, and everything. The you just figured this out? White man is, is it's very, very small numbers. So like, that's another reason for me to, to support communism. Uh, the, 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 uh, the Marxian vision, which is global and, and, and no religion to. Rev, you've been, you know, we're right. not gonna get religion. I'm not even, fuck it, let's just finish this video. Which I agree with, I, I, I'm Christian, but I'm, I'm for the government of Jesus Christ. Everybody says they're Christian and then they're okay with their religion getting into the government, which is not American. I have to move on because this is very important thing. I agree with that. What I see is the trolls taking Shani and making her bad. Now, he's back, now he's back to his original, oh my God. You need help, dude. You really, I'm, I, I know I, I've never been diagnosed and um, I probably have some form of ADHD or ADD because my daughter has it. But, uh, and I can jump from things. I can, I can literally walk into a room and forget what the fuck I came into the room for. Um, sometimes I'll be told things, oh, this needs to be done, da, da, da. And I'll totally forget it when the time comes. Um, I zone out sometimes when people are talking, so I probably have some form of it, but uh, I'm never that this bad. This is terrible. Like the stream, y'all. Let's go. Pain for you. Oh, I meant to say sub, not like, but yeah, do both. To take this stance. It's insane. You are enabling a, 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 an abusive father, which I was, and I want to work on myself in therapy with, with whoever I'm going to see here where I'm at uh, for my issues. You're, I, I'm pissed at you for enabling me. Cause I see what I did was so horrible. Like I feel almost death. I liked almost death because I took it too far. Hmm. You can discipline your kids, but I took it too far. And I'm saying that as the, the, the party at hand, oh, shit, here we go. do I want to go to jail for three years or two years or one year? Cause that's, it goes like one of three years for that, this type of offense, of course not, but there's no double jeopardy. I won't go again for this particular instance. But if it, ha if it happened again, we and that's probably why he's admitting that he hit that kid. There's no double jeopardy. So, um, the next thing, um, he can't get in, tr he can't get charged twice for the same crime. So get back together me and Janie get back together by a miracle and I think that's crazy I think if you kill somebody and then you get off and then you're like yeah I killed him you're admitting it I think you should be you should get in trouble but I don't know I don't know I don't know how that works maybe you can't I don't know at this point because you really don't like me I mean for good reason he keeps doing the neck thing because now you're gonna make it worse and keeping us separated you're affecting me negatively trying to get because I want to get back with her you're 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 impacting me negatively because it's even more in her mind that I did that because you're shoving it in her face that she should be supporting me. Oh my God, he's, he's tweaking the fuck out. For anybody with common sense that understands what happened. He admitted it in this video and he's admitted it in other videos. Then it happened. I'll say it again. I did strike him and I did. I don't remember kicking him, but I'm sure I did. <laughs> yeah, it's probably getting old and ADHD. Probably. Because his ribs were bruised and I didn't. No, but literally I would, I'll, rem I'll, it'll be in my head literally right before I get into the room. And as soon as I get in the room, boop, and I'm just like, Fuck, and then I'll walk across the house and then get to the other side of the fucking house. I'm like, God damn it, and then walk right back. Peebo Thalu has donated five Australian dollars through Super Chat. I don't know what to say, Trisha. Walking into a room and forgetting why you're there. It's called getting old. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha, Thalu. Ha ha. Punch his ribs. So what happened? It happened. I trust Zachary. Zachary didn't lie. Oh, shit. 
Wait, I want to go back. I'm not going to watch this. I'm going to get off. But look, yeah, Carrie, you're right, dude. Look at his fucking pupils. Now, this isn't the best quality video, and I think he has brown eyes. But yeah, his pupils are probably super large. But listen to that last thing he said, y'all. Negatively, because it's even more in her mind that I did that. Because you're shoving it in her face that she should be supporting me. For anybody with common sense that understands what happened and it happened. No, uh, um, I, I, I see you, but I know, I know it, Jeopardy, Double Jeopardy it exists for a reason. I get it. I get it. But I think it's kind of fucked up that this man can say he gets in trouble for... Oh, shit. My, my headphones come out. I think it's crazy that this man could get off and then, then go back and say, yeah, I hit the kids. Like, what? Happened. I'll say it again. I did strike him, and I did. I don't remember kicking him, but I'm sure I did because his ribs were bruised, and I didn't punch his ribs. So what happened? It happened. I trust Zachary. Zachary didn't lie. Well, there you go. There you go. There you go. Um, I, I, he said something in this video. I don't want to. I don't want to watch any more rev. I'm good. All right, y'all. I'm getting the fuck out of her. Um, just do me a favor. Like the goddamn stream. Sub if you have not. Um, hold on. And really, really, this is what we're doing. This is this is what we're doing. Okay. Uh, anyways. Yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna, damn it. I don't know what I'm gonna do, dude. I'm trying to do something and it ain't working. Fuck it. I, fuck this. this thing's pissing me off. But all right, y'all. I'm getting the fuck out of here. Like the stream. Some of you not. I'll probably go live Tuesday or whatever. I don't know. I don't. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna review that next stream uh, when he got trolled. It was really funny. And um, it was really funny. Oh, it's because it's locked. That's why. It was really funny. And so I want, and I know uh, Flaming Amy made a video. Um, and she was asking me to leave um, leave him alone. Um, that he's done. Oops. Uh, that will not happen, Amy. I'm sorry to tell you that because he opened this fucking door and I'm not going to leave him alone now. He is his fault. He should have left me the fuck alone when I told him. He didn't. So now he has to deal with the consequences, right? So it's whatever. So, you know, next time when, when the niggas tell you to leave him the fuck alone, you leave him the fuck alone. You know what I'm trying to say? But yeah. I, I know some people are kind of in the not catching up always. So I will play, I will play a quick uh, song real quick. And then we'll get the fuck out of her. All right. Ooh, you know what? I'll just put it on full. I'll put it on full screen. Hold on. Where that? Where are you? Damn it. Did I get rid of that? Holy shit. Well, last minute to send me super chat. No, no, don't give me any money. Why would you do that? Don't do that. Don't. Mind. Don't. Uh, don't do that. Anyways, I'm gonna play Heat Black. I'll see y'all later. I love you. I want you. And I want to do nasty things to you. Anyways, uh, don't listen to me. I'm out of here, y'all. Bye. Bye. Open up a giant studio might be a beta move. <laughs> then what are you going to do? <laughs> Borrow one of his dancers outfit, a tutu and the slippers, prance around the stage doing pirouettes. I asked him where he's going. He tell me where he's been. Beta. 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 A moment that will be ever remembered. I I I I I I, I am an Oreo cookie. Cookie, cookie. Oreo cookie. White on the inside, black on the outside. Yeah, the outside. Isn't that amazing? Amazing, amazing? At one time in life, I was black on the inside and black on the outside. Yeah, outside. Hey, Joe. He black. He black. Black and slow, I don't know. He black. I am not African American. I don't have an Afro. Uh 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 uh. uh Amerifro. Amerifro. There are no African drums beating in my chest. The American good cards playing in my heart. Born on a plantation in Alabama. Grew up under the Jim Crow laws. Worked the fields, worked the plantation. Black. As the ace of spades, he black. but 100% American. Now I'm white on the inside. Hey, Joe. He black. 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 He black
possibly or if i get a bug, bug up my ass uh, i'll stream tomorrow i don't know but later i'm, I'm gonna start taking from next um 